What's up you guys and welcome back to another video. My name is Alex Travasio. I'm a trial photographer and model. So if you already haven't done so, please like and subscribe and let's get into today's video, you guys. What's up, you guys, and welcome back to episode number five of the Wild West Tour series. So uh, for this episode, we're going to be checking out Copper Cactus Ranch. And this is an all male clothing optional campground just just basically between south of uh, Phoenix and you're in between Phoenix and Globe, Arizona. So you guys, the drive there to the ranch is very, very beautiful, very scenic. I've never seen uh, like, you know, uh, so girls like this, you know, very, very tall. Like, I've never seen any type of scenery like this. I'm from the Midwest, you know, so I was just very wild when I got there. And when you arrive, there's a gate. Usually it's closed, but, um, you know, sometimes they don't really mind if you leave it open, but I usually let them know. So anyway, the first rule, you guys, when I get to camp is you get unclothed, get undressed, get undressed. After you set up camp, you know, you put your feet up and you just relax, take everything in. One thing I will say, and the best thing about Copper Cactus Ranch for me is simply the scenery and the feeling you get being out in the foothills of the Superstition Mountains. Uh, you're basically, you know, again, you're in the foothills, so you're in like in a bowl type of deal, right? And all around you, there's mountains. So it's just a very, very beautiful scenic um, campground. You know, and you guys, I want to introduce you to Cooper. He is uh, he became my best friend <laughs> and he was really, you know, always around me or near me, um, especially at night, you know, stuff like that. He is the campground protector and, um, um, you know, it's just my best friend. So I want to introduce him to you guys. So look at this, you guys, the scenery. This is why I love this place. I mean, look that's you don't get views like this anywhere else you know other than maybe west virginia where there's mountains but not mountains like this you know this is insane and all like everywhere you look there's plants there's rock formations you know near the mountains uh there are several trails this is one of them you can just hike all along but uh you can take walkie talkies along with too they usually advise you to take walkie talkies along um you know just to be safe but anyway you guys so this is another trail and this is leading up to the outdoor showers and restrooms and this is also elephant rock that rock formation you see back there is called elephant rock so um they do have like two different outdoor showers i believe they have another one by the pool uh, and then you have the ones that I showed you just now. And this is the campsite area where usually people tent camp. And I've been here, like I said, once in 2020 and it was only me camping in there. So and you guys, I met some I met a guy who came out of town and he basically made this for me. So it resembles a scorpion. Right. But it's made out of um, a type of a type of plant that grows out in the desert and basically looks you know like a makes it look like a scorpion when you put it together but you guys as you can see the views are insane here like the moon is shining so bright so beautifully and everything is just so i don't know it's like at night um your senses get heightened definitely a lot more you know because the desert becomes more quiet so with that being said, it's just, you know, the light ambient just really creates this romantic type of vibe, you know, and like you can see here, the whole entire campground is pretty much lit up um, out in the, you know, in the mountains. They do have a uh, few lights and this and that. So it looks really beautiful. And look how bright the moon is, you guys. This is why I say like here, there really is no place like this. You know, I've been many, many places all over the country and I'll say this area and Arizona is one of the places where the moon shines the brightest. So, but you guys here the next morning, I just kind of relax. Like I said, I, <laughs> the views here, this is why I come. This is my, my favorite view to begin with, you know, because it's just like the rock. And then once the sunshine hits later in the video, you'll see why it's my favorite and why it looks so beautiful. So, and you guys, as you can see, it's very vast. They do have a large amount of uh, property here. So you can take hiking trails all along and do your thing. You know, like I said before, one thing they advise is for you to take a walkie talkie just in case, um, you know, there are what, you know, rattlesnakes and this and that. I've never seen one, but we will get into that maybe later on this episode. So you guys, the next morning I caught Cooper. I went outside and he was barking at this uh, cow that snuck into the property from the neighbor's property and which it may be cute and funny, right? 
but they actually do damage they destroy you know they destroy the stuff on the ground they tramp all over things they do things that they're not supposed to be doing so it's just it creates it's not good you know but basically cooper ended up getting him out of the property and chasing him out so uh you know he doesn't do anything to them he just chases them out you know that's all so anyway you guys i just did my thing and you know what's funny is <laughs> like i said before is everywhere i seem to turn you know a few moments later or an hour later there's cooper you know he would always just be right next by my side and i decided to do a photo shoot with him <laughs> look at this you guys i mean look at that face and he gave me kisses and you guys he's just the sweetest dog like i don't know it's so weird because it's like i don't really see it like he's got such a soul a beautiful soul that i've never seen before in a dog like it's it's almost like he's human I don't know it's so weird you know it's 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 just like a beautiful aura he's got you know so and you guys the next day or i'm sorry that um uh, same afternoon i decided to go and go for a swim and that's one thing everyone will say when they come and camp here is you know what's funny is um i just tell people you know because um i've made videos or whatever right made posts on instagram and people are like oh how are you keeping cool and isn't it really hot there and it's like well yeah i went in the middle of june when it was 120 heat index so that's exactly why that i was in that pool just about every few hours you guys so <laughs> i definitely definitely love to swim so i honestly was loving that because usually when you go swimming elsewhere you get out the pool and it's kind of cool or even cold right but not here in Arizona, in the desert, you know, you get out the water and it is freaking hot. You um, dry out and then you want to get right back in that water. So I was just taking it all in. And you guys, one thing I do want to say is you tell me in the comments below where there's a place where you can go swimming like this and there's views like this. I'll wait. I'll wait. I'll give you an hour. <laughs> so i mean the views are just incredible you know what i'm saying so you guys again there's nowhere else like copper cactus ranch period that's on period i know sawmill is voted america's uh favorite lgbtq campground and resort but in my opinion it's copper cactus ranch period the hospitality you guys they i want to say i forgot to mention that they do have several cabins they've got also tents that you can rent out so if you don't want to stay in a cabin that's fine i mean they're really really cute and they're really small and modern and then they also have tents that you can rent out or you can also stay in the lofts you know they do have a lodge where you can stay at where eight you know you have your air conditioner you have beautiful views of the mountain so that's you know that this is not an endorsement of any kind I've just simply love this place and I don't care to, you know, say that because, um, you know, um, Bobby and Rich have just been very, very beautiful to me. You guys, their hospitality was just so beautiful and immense. You know, we usually have conversations and how I'm doing and this and that and where I'm at in life and this or where they're at in life, you know, and this is a place of healing. So I definitely want to say that is when you come here. You're coming here to relax, just let everything go. You know, we all live in a world where we all deal with things and sometimes it's pretty heavy. You know, sometimes you might be coming through to a crossroads in your life where you're starting a new job. You maybe you moved, maybe you're going through divorce. I don't know, you know, but so you guys, um, I don't know what happened here. Let me show you here, but <laughs> I seem to have injured my foot a little bit somehow. I don't know if something might have maybe like, I don't know, maybe bit me. I'm not sure. It could have just been like a fire and I don't know. But <laughs> anyway, um, I had a little bite there, so everything was fine. I was just monitoring it and I came across this praying mantis. And I usually somehow I always come across a praying mantis, usually on my chair or on my lunch bag. This happened to me in Missouri. This happened to me. I forgot where else, <laughs> but I decided to get a photo of this praying mantis, a few photos and look at it, you guys. It was just staring back at me like, hi. <laughs>
so that morning i headed out to phoenix and on my way there i saw this dust devil you guys and i just had to get some photos because i was <laughs> I was so mesmerized. I mean, again, I've never seen a dust devil. I've never I'm mean, spent that much time in Arizona to see one. So it was just crazy. And I ended up going to um, this juice bar, this place that has, um, you know, you can get natural juice from in downtown. But anyway, I went to Civic Space Park, you guys, and it was so beautiful. Um, I guess at night this place lights up, you know, this whole thing this structure lights up so i would have loved to come here at night but i definitely don't like driving at night especially through the desert like that so i came here in a day and it was very few people around which uh, kind of surprised me because it's kind of a beautiful place you know um you're dead smack in the middle of downtown phoenix and um also i will say that i now thought about it and it's like well it was really really hot around this time so uh, you know, with that being said, there wasn't too many people out but me. So you guys, the next uh, stop I headed out to was a place called Hunt's Tomb. And it took me a while to find this place because <laughs> the part like you just have to kind of know where you're going. So it took me a while. Like I got turned around twice. So anyway, I finally got to the place here. And this is uh, Arizona's first governor um, where he entombed his wife when she passed. And after when he passed, he was entombed here as well. And so was her family, I believe. So, um, yeah, it's just pretty cool history to know. And uh, this is I think it was made back in, a, I think in the 30s, 1939, I think, or believe. I believe that's right. So anyway, the views here are amazing. You're near the airport as well. And like I said, you guys, this is just outside um, of Phoenix, Arizona. So the views here again are just incredible and this was just outside of a golfing course i think and then there's also a um like a garden way off in the distance i believe here too so it was just really beautiful to see this oasis in the middle of the desert like this so um i just really really highly encourage you guys to go check out these places and just do your research i mean that's what i did you know just did my research before i went to go check it out so here we have a view of elephant rock you guys this is the elephant rock from another view and after that i just headed back to the campground and got some food you know one thing i'll say is that they have several several different things lots of many choices you guys and i had the chicken strips and onion rings which were amazing amazing shout out to rich rich is i believe the one who usually cooks uh but he does a really really good job you guys and he knows how to do it well you know what i'm saying he puts love and he puts a lot of love into what he does so um just want to give a shout out to bobby and rich again you guys they really make my stay they really made my stay just extra more extra welcoming so i do want to say that and as you guys see look at this you guys once again i i this is on period but there's nowhere else like this place nowhere and this is the lodge i was saying here you guys so here you can see these windows those are all um rooms you can rent and you can stay in for the night or a few days if you'd like um or even longer you know so there's people who have stayed here for like about a week or even more so and that's because of this you guys look at that i mean who wouldn't want to stay in a place like this you know this is just incredible there's several trails you guys they have several trails all along their property so what you see is just the beginning of like you know there's trails that go all along those mountains all the way up those mountains and i believe that's still most of their property so i mean that's just insane could you imagine that like you know, and I this time around, I will say that the, the second time, which was this time, I didn't do too much of a crazy hiking, you know. Um, but the first time I went with a few people and that was really fun because we really went out kind of far and um, it was it was a lot more safer that way because I was with people versus just doing it on my own like this. And like I said, it's beautiful and everything and freeing. But you guys, you just want to always be careful and be safe be very very safe okay so you guys after all that hiking i decided to put my feet up relax you know what i'm saying enjoy more views look at this like i said i mean literally anywhere you're at you guys anywhere you're at <laughs> you get views whether you're at the pool whether you're up in the mountains whether you're in your room you look out your window and you see views and the moon here is visible um a lot of the times because it's just that I don't know. It's like I feel like the sky is just more 
clear and more bright and you're just closer to the sky you know that's how i'll, I'll describe being here in this area so and i do what i do best is model <laughs> you know you guys i one thing i will say is i love photography and that's what usually keeps me amped up is sometimes um i know some people have asked me in the past they're like oh like how do you how do you do all that you do or you travel and you do this and that like that takes up a lot of effort and that does take a lot of effort but um seeing all this you know and coming going to place a place and then seeing different views and just beautiful views like this and realizing how vast and how huge this world is you know this country specifically but also you guys uh the more you travel the more you start realizing how smaller the world is i don't know it's weird it's such a weird um it's like a contradictory thing right to say but that's just how it feels sometimes for me so look how vast the area is you guys like i said one thing about this place is at nighttime i wanted to show you here in this video but at nighttime like you know it's kind of crazy because like the desert comes alive in a way of like an artistic way basically you know and there's lighting in places where you wouldn't even you're like how did they get lights up there yeah it's it's so beautiful and um i will say that you'll never catch me wandering or hiking around this time or past this time because again you're out in the desert so essentially you're near the wilderness and you know again i don't ever want to run into <laughs> or see any wildlife or anything that would freak me out like in a this i don't know i you know it just again you guys so you have to be safe you have to think about these things you don't want to sit here and go hiking and then wonder why you're dark why it's getting dark and you're still in the mountains well you probably shouldn't have been hiking that late in the day you know what i mean so that's just it is what it is you just want to be careful you guys okay and i wanted to show you this other view you guys of the mountains here as the sun was setting and again just beautiful views you guys and of course once nighttime comes the desert comes alive very much alive so once again you guys i will say this and i have to keep on saying this but a lot of you guys watching this video and any other episode and live on my youtube channel have not subscribed so please you guys please 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 subscribe and like this video okay become a member as well so more views of the desert at night and one thing i will say is i did not sleep in my tent one single night the whole time i was here you guys <laughs> i did not because it was so hot at night it was still like about 90 something like 90 or 80 something very hot like just uh, you know heat exhaustion and all of that is no joke and you don't want to you definitely don't want to experience that it's definitely not just it's not very good you guys and it's very thing it's very dangerous to do so so i asked the owners um you know i definitely asked bobby and rich if i can stay in the if i can sleep in the basically like in the couches you know which is usually just a hangout area but they were nice enough to let me do that so i don't <laughs> so i don't stay in my tent and be miserable i wouldn't have been able to sleep at night like i just you know being from the midwest and especially from chicago it's like at night i'm used to being cold kind of you know a little a little chilly and here it just doesn't happen especially when you come in the middle of june in the middle of a of a <laughs> of a heat wave basically so um with that being said you guys i just want to show you these photos of how beautiful the desert looks at night and that's why i say that there's no other place like this you know there just really is it and the other thing i want to say is if you're a photographer and you're into videography, you know, speci specifically a YouTuber like myself. This is definitely that place, you guys. You have an unlimited amount or um, a, lim a limited amount of, um, of options, right? For photography or even videography. Like, it's just insane. So, you guys, so the next day I sat here. And so, usually what I did is uh, every morning I sat here and enjoyed my morning coffee and there's just no better way to start your day like this, you know, and I felt very, very much spoiled, you know, I'll be honest, because um, I don't I'm not sure if I stated this in this episode yet, but I stayed here for about two weeks, you guys. And 
you know, <laughs> I honestly did not want to go back home. I did not want to go back home. If I had my cat with me, I probably would have stayed here for another week. And I do want to say that at this time, I was not working because I was coming off of unemployment from when I used to work at Walmart years ago. And I basically was also living off of a few savings that I had, thankfully, and this and that. So I was just definitely I remember that time because I, I said to myself, I'm like, I'm going to take advantage of this. I will. And I definitely am. And I did. And instead, you know, I originally had plans to stay here for only a week. But I stayed here for two whole weeks, you guys, <laughs> probably a little bit longer. I, I just definitely did not want to leave like, <laughs> you know, so once again, you guys, me and Cooper are having another photo shoot. Like I said before, he became my best friend. And I don't know, I just felt really spiritually, spiritually, spiritually <laughs> connected. I can't even talk um, bloopers. I'm not going to edit this out. It's just going to stay right where it's at. So look at that face, you guys. I mean, come on. How could you not love a face like that? Seriously, right? <laughs> uh, so the next day, you guys, I decided to head out and I decided to go explore Seguro National Park. So once again, as I said before, the drive in and out of the campground is just so, so, so beautiful. And this was uh, directly south of the campground and once again i ran into another dust devil but this one was much bigger you guys and i was definitely closer this time so i got photos and i didn't even go out of my way like i just happened to come across it and it was pretty big like i can't imagine being close to that i'd be a little nervous um they can pick up a few things i read online you know and they're very very calming here in arizona so and especially in a desert so and here we are, you guys, Seguro National Park. I've never been here before. I've seen so many beautiful photos online and I've never seen Seguro this close. And I was just wild, you guys. And one thing I want to say again is around this time when I went, the heat index was about 120, 130 this day. This day was probably like about the hottest, which of course, right, I would just go out hiking, right? <laughs> but um i was also very careful you guys my my car was having a very hard time keeping the air cold that i do remember and i drink a lot of water a lot of water you guys i had that bag full of water you know so and you just have to keep hydrated you guys but uh there was nobody else but another person on the trail so <laughs> you know that just tells you that there was nobody out that day because it was just super super hot but the area was just so beautiful, so vast. I can't imagine how far this, you know, like the trails go. But I came across all these different types of um, cacti and just different plants. And some of these plants, you guys, some of these cacti you see here are dangerous. They will jump at you. I read online. So you have to be very careful and don't don't just think you could just pose like this. Uh, uh, pose next to a cacti like you can next to a saguaro like i did in that photo because some plants you can't do that okay <laughs> just so i don't know if you guys are aware of that i wasn't aware until somebody told me after i took all these photos and i was like oh thanks for uh thanks for the tip after after the fact you know so after that you guys i got some sushi some california rolls and this is the hot tub you guys so they do have a hot tub but of course it is way too hot <laughs> to be there and i think the first time that i came here i still got in very briefly but there was nobody in the hot tub and you guys for some reason i injured uh my foot for some reason and i showed you as i showed you earlier in the video uh seems like it it's gotten worse <laughs> so i was keeping an eye on my foot because that i it wasn't like hurting it wasn't like itching or anything it just didn't look good <laughs> you know and um it looked more like a burn of some sort i don't know but i felt fine it's not like i was I don't know. So I'm not sure what that was, but I was just kind of monitoring my foot to make sure that nothing was wrong. And I do what I do best, you guys. Just hang out. When you're here, you do absolutely nothing. That's what this place is meant for. So I hang out. I hung out. I bought some uh, coconut water. I put some real coconut pieces in there, some ice, and I sat down and just chilled out, you guys. That is, there's, okay, if you come here, if you do this, Tell me that there's nothing better than that feeling. 
just nice cold coconut water and you're feeling hydrated and you're just sitting there just sitting there enjoying all the beautiful scenery just time to yourself again you guys i guarantee you if you come here you're gonna absolutely love it one thing i will say is that the parking is limited so it's not like you can park right up next to your cabin or wherever you're gonna be renting okay so that i will say um but you know hopefully in the future they can you know maybe make it a little bit more larger you know just a parking area but it does get filled up pretty quickly so that that's why i say that because it does get filled up pretty quickly so and of course you wouldn't go to arizona without seeing a rattlesnake right you guys so <laughs> i was glad that i didn't see it myself uh actually what happened is somebody saw it um i think one of them one of the managers was cleaning or somebody was cleaning and they saw it behind a hot tub so um you know it was hiding back there so they were able to get it out and relocate it because it's very 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 dangerous to have a rattlesnake anywhere near people you guys so they <laughs> definitely took it out far very far you know what i'm saying they grabbed the four-wheeler and just took it out far and relocated it so and you guys so this is cooper once again enjoying himself and just <laughs> i was bothering him at this point because i was just you know like every time i saw him i was just recording him. <laughs> so i hope i have your um uh, your permission to put you on this video cooper okay and you guys if you end up going to copper cactus ranch i want you to please take a photo with cooper and i want you to do a hashtag cooper and you can tag me in it as well so you guys don't forget to follow me on instagram it's alex gervasio okay i have all the links to all my social media platforms on this description and every other and in every other video okay so i decided to take out to go take a hike and as you can see here you guys that's why i keep on saying there's no other place like this and it's i recommend you know so there's two things don't go too far when you do this but i do recommend to go hiking just about an hour before sunset an hour and a half maybe two hours just to be safe and just soak it all in you guys take it all in but don't go far that's near sunset don't say that i said so and then get lost and then no, no, no. alex said no alex didn't say nothing alex said you should but don't go far at all this is actually not far from the lodge you guys if you face the camera to the left you'll see that um the previous view was the lodge and that's where i'm at so i'm not far at all here and i was also careful to do that and I was only wearing these boots because I definitely didn't want to come across any like snakes or anything like that being out in the desert and in the Arizona mountains like this. So, but anyway, you guys, every time I come here, I just feel so alive. I feel so freeing. I just, I don't know. I just feel like I can't, um, I just feel like there's nothing that I can't do. You know what I'm saying? And there's just no other better feeling like that. And the other thing I will say is I don't remember this from last from my last trip, but there's also lots of beautiful plants and just the way they rear, they did the landscaping around here. You guys, it's just getting better and better and just so beautiful. So that's one thing I want to say is um, I don't know if I just didn't notice too much last time or spent too much time here. But um, every time every time I come, I feel like it, it's just it's just more beautiful and more picturesque. You know, and here I just wanted to show you how it looks at night. Very, very lit up, as you can see here. And it's almost like even the sky gets lit up by all the lights here on the desert, you guys, and especially from the moon. So here I want to show you these photos because I took these actually on my first trip, but I wanted to put them on this trip because I wanted to show you guys how beautiful, beautiful it can look out here, you guys, and how beautiful your photos can look as well. So again, if you're into photography, you're going to absolutely love this place, especially at night, because the photo opportunities are so immense. Like you just have so many opportunities. So, so you guys, I really hope you enjoyed this episode of the Copper Cactus Ranch. And I hope you're enjoying this whole wet, uh, Wild West tour series. You guys, I put in a lot of time and effort into every single episode and much love and thought. So with that being said, is I really hope you guys enjoyed this um experience coming to copper T copper cactus ranch with me i hope you guys please can become a member here on youtube 
And if you already haven't done so, you guys, please like and subscribe. And for the next part, for the next episode, you guys, episode six is going to be San Diego slash Black Speech. So we're going to be going over to California, you guys. And let me say it was pretty hot. It was pretty hot on the drive down there. And I actually passed a place called North Agadon's Dunes. And there are sand dunes that are just very, very vast, very, very beautiful. And I thought this was uh, white sand. But then I remember that I was not in New Mexico. So, you know, <laughs> but you guys, please like and subscribe, please, please, please. I'm trying to get to 6,000 subscribers by the end of February, so I need your guys' help, okay? And like I said, next we're going to be exploring San Diego, California, and then Black Speech, you guys. So please stay tuned, and thank you guys for watching. Mwah. Thank you guys. I'll see you in the next episode.